Welcome back. Well, with me today are a couple guests that might be familiar to you. We have the mayor of the city of Laguna Woods, Carol Moore, today. Good morning. Nice to see you. Great to be here. Yeah, welcome. And we have David Cohen. And you've probably seen uh, David Cohen get up at meetings, both at the city and, and locally here, some of our board meetings, because he has a passion for dogs. And what we're talking about today is the dog park. And you probably know the uh, last uh, year or so, there's a uh, been a little history with it there that we're going to go over, but a place for pause is, is, is as it's called. I love the name, is up and running. And we're going to get first from you, Carol. Let's get a little background on this because uh, this is a dog park that had been around for a while. And really, what happened was the fact that the way things were written up years ago, I'm not sure the exact reason. But it had to be looked who oversees this dog park, the city, GRF, uh, Third Mutual even, and Carol's a resident of Third, you're still a resident of Third, Correct. right? So it, there was this conundrum that thankfully everybody came together and worked out. Well, uh, it turned out that the city didn't have access to the rights of that space. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, were, there was also a, the negative aspects, uh, the positive aspects obviously being that people in our community have dogs and, and yeah. want a spot to, to take them to exercise. I think, believe there are over 5,000 dogs in the community. 6,000. He knows, I, <laughs> I trust his number. Uh, mm -hmm. It's over five, it's six, okay? So it's 6,000 dogs in the community and you realize that we're, um, with the size of our, actual size of our community, is that makes it a fairly yeah. high number. Yeah. Anyway, we have a lot of dogs and the dog park location, we didn't have, the city didn't truly have as, access to mm -hmm. legally to that property. And the second part being there was a building nearby and there were aspects that were offensive to the building, the people yeah. who lived in that building. So the dog park now became an issue. What do we do? And working together, we are now moving the dog park to the opposite side of the current uh, parking lot. Mm -hmm. So it's 164 feet, is it not? I know it's uh, 6,400 6, square feet. Square okay. feet. Okay, I was thinking. Of okay. The, we're talking about two It's still things. a long ridge route. So it's, it's still a long, narrow. Yeah, it's still in the basic yeah. location. It's mm -hmm. just being yeah. shifted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're actually. Uh, moving if you go into the existing park as you drive in mm -hmm. it's going to be to the right they're taking what was a walking trail and making that into the park and they're going to be taking the existing facility and making it into a walking trail yeah yeah which is going to you Perfect. know it's going to work out for everyone mm -hmm. and this shows when different entities work together what can happen well it, the challenge was the funding because the city doesn't have a lot of uh, mm -hmm. I have to speak up for the city. Yeah. The city's uh, challenge is lack of money. Yeah. And uh, the city works very well on very little funding and, and I think very efficiently. However, when these kinds of things come along, we have to find a way yeah. to meet the challenge and that, that happened. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting. It started off as a, with a little bit of a shock value. And I, I just want to say sort of a priori. I mm -hmm. don't have, I like dogs a lot. I have two very large dogs. I don't have a passion for them, but I have a passion for the people who own the dogs. Yeah. And he does. And, yeah. and you know, I always look at this place for paws is not P-A-W-S, but P-A-U-S-E. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, yeah. Fluffy will be happy wherever you put Fluffy. Yeah. But it's a place where people come and meet. We have a community. That's right. With a lot of abilities, people walk, in, <coughs> people look after each other. So it really became a, a social interaction, not just of, 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 of canines, but of people as well. But you know, it started off as a very adversarial process because yeah. we heard immediately the dog park is being closed for various reasons. I remember, I was mm -hmm. out there, I think I was speaking to you on right. that. Right, yeah, out on the but, streets. But you know, it yeah. quickly came, became a collegial process. Yes. With the city yeah. and the protesters, we became collaborators. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 you know, I, I wanna compliment the city because they've done a yeoman's job under a lot of constraints. I mean, for example, the park is cut in half because uh, that's an area that GRF controlled, uh, and the back area is what, you, uh, what Third Mutual controlled, and mm -hmm. we could never get any feedback from Third Mutual. And then GRF itself, the Golden Rain Foundation, donated the area for the new park. Yeah. The city has put in a tremendous amount of money. They're putting in, if you don't mind me saying, they're putting in for the existing new facility a half a million dollars, uh, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they're in, they've increased what they originally said in the estimate. The, 
the uh, odor control. That's one of the reasons the park was right, supposed to open right. on October 20th. It'll be opening sometime in early November. The odor control is being <coughs> uh, enhanced. Uh, the foliage, the trees are being made bigger because, again, we have a, uh, an aged population that is mm -hmm. more affected by sun. Uh, and that's phase one of the project. Phase two is the city is then building a 1,700 square foot park with a separate entrance for, 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 for timber dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I you know, I, you know, I, I, I'm not a gushy type of person, but the city is really, really stepped to the plate on this. And we, as as users of the park, and we as part of the dog park advisory committee, work with the city to try to to, to help them, advise them, listen to them. Yeah. And to raise funds. You know, yeah. uh, the dog club of Laguna Woods uh, has given thousands of dollars over the years for the existing facility. We want to continue that. I mean, as you have on the board Yeah, there. we got the founders wall. Tell us okay. about this. Yeah, these are f this, this is for individuals and businesses. Okay, mm -hmm. this is for individuals and businesses who want to be part of uh, the beginning of the park yeah. as, as people who help fund the park. And, uh, we have various iterations here. You can go from bronze all the way to diamond. Uh, your name will be inscribed depending on the size mm -hmm. of the, uh, inscribe your name or your name of your wife or partner will be inscribed in there. Or the and name of your dog. <laughs> well, that's Can you do that? That's, uh, no, no, actually, actually not. Uh, no, but that's, oh, I'm there's, surprised. There's another thing. There's another thing. Oh, okay. Doing. All right. Because our goal is to raise money. I mean, so okay. far we have about 5,000. Our goal is to, to raise 10,000. Uh, mm -hmm. We've gotten some business contributions, but not as much. Uh, <coughs> but again, it's to... If we sit at a dog club advisory committee and ask the city for improvements, we have to be willing to contribute to right. those improvements. You have um, the form there. I want to know where people can pick this up. And we, we have the, uh, you know, the main part on the screen there, but the bottom of it is the actual application. Is the actual in. application. Now, obviously, and at these, the city. these are tax deductible. They're tax okay. deductible. And they're all over. They're all over. Okay. They're also online. Okay. Uh, can they, I, I want to see that. They've been placed on next okay. door, Laguna Woods. There, okay. City Hall. You can also obtain a copy there. All right. And again, there's all different contribution right. levels, levels here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we've copied the park. To some, it's going to be larger. We've copied the park to some extent from the Lake Forest Park. I mean, the, the, the park that we have right now is archaic. The, the, the matting is, is right. old. We've, we've, we've used their artificial turf. You can't have natural grass. I mean, uh, all you have to do is go down to Laguna, Laguna Canyon Dog Park, mm -hmm. which has natural grass after a rainstorm, and it's unusable for two mm -hmm. or three days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have strong odor control. We're building a six-foot wall to separate the village, the golf course, from there. We have a, a three-foot wall on the street side, mm -hmm. but on top of that wall, we're putting metal slatting fence. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very insulated mm -hmm. from the public. All right, we're just about out of and time. And I want to I want to tell people is there that you need to contribute by October 31st. Correct. 31st, yes. To that gives you time. And the founders, uh huh. Okay. And Great beyond that, you can still contribute. And just very quickly, very, very quickly. <laughs> okay. We have other ways of collecting money. One of those that people have brought up to us when we took, took a poll is people would like to have memorial plaques. Mm hmm for okay. their dogs, or maybe okay. plaques with same like you said. Additional to the founders. Additional, and they will be put up, and they will have various price okay. iterations. All right, very good. Thank you both Thank for coming on. Thank you so much for having us. When uh, different groups work together, what can be accomplished? Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Good to see you, Carol. Good to see you, too. David, always a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back.